mwenye umbo ana chama na anaweza lazima tujue mwenye umbo and you don't need to ask beyond there <laughs> kwa hivyo haya ni mambo mengi ambayo kati ya yale tumezungumzia but we also went ahead and also said this when you have been nominated as a member of parliament as a member of the county assembly your loyalty is to the pen that nominated you all those people are nominated by the party leader wale wengine sisi ni watu wa mkono and when you go round and start stabbing him at the back it is a very dangerous thing lingine ambao tumesema ambao ni ni maajabu is the level of disloyalty that is in the country not just within jubilee but how people turn around quickly and even betray those whom ha, who have given them responsibility to speak or to act on their behalf members of parliament are elected on a given party if you choose to go to the other party you have to go to the people who had sent you to parliament in the first place lazima urudi kwa wananchi wa kupigie kula kupitia chama ambacho sasa unaona dicho kinafaa kuliko kile ulifanya kampeni nacho hapo beleni kwa hivyo yale ambayo yanazungumziwa katika maandamano sisi katika uh, muungano wa jubilee ama katika chama ya jubilee na sisi ambao tumekuwa kwa huu mkutano tunakubaliana nayo na tuta, tutaendelea kuwa katika uh, yale ambayo atapitishwa na azimio kwa kila wakati and we are also asking the azimio leadership that jubilee the, the, the difficulties that we are going through that have been occasioned by others outside jubilee wale ambao wako kwa serikali wakati huu ambao waliingia na ile jia waliingia nayo wale ambao wako katika maofisi za serikali ambao wanahakikisha kwamba hii vita inaendelea uh, kwa sababu pengine hapo ndio kuna maana ama manufaa kwao tumekubaliana ya kwamba jubilee mambo ya azimio sisi pia tunayetaka iwekwe katika orodha kibao bele baada cost of living we want wale ambao wanaharibu jubilee pia tuseme ya kwamba we cannot agree to continue having things as normal if political parties that are supposed to fight for the voiceless are being fought or being dismantled so after the cost of uh, living we want multi party democracy respect for jubilee must be there kama hakuna hekima kwa jubilee haya mambo hatutakubali kutoka kwa barabara kwa sababu gani pia tumekubaliana kwamba sisi tutaungana na wakenya kusema ya kwamba ile uchuru ambayo imepedekezwa ime ipitiswe e, mwaka huu tumekataa na tumekataa mambo ya kuongeza ushuru kwa wakenya we do not want the taxes as proposed in the current finance bill the kenyans are already suffering under the cost of healing, feel, uh, living you cannot add any more pain hello tumepata hiyo that is also something that we have uh, agreed Uh, tu na kwa sababu kuna wengine wanaweza wakasema ni sehemu ya kwamba uh, pia hawa wako hapa kutoka branches na wakienda kule branches they will continue doing uh, they will now become more active we will have to defend this party just like Kimathi and others and we have the body of the wife uh, on saturday choose to fight for this country kupitia damu yake mwili na damu because the law was not making sense we are going to fight for jubilee through the same 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 approach atutaruhusu watu wakae kwa vile wanakaa waseme wanatumia sheria kubomoa chama ambacho kimefanya Kenya kimeifanyia Kenya kazi kwa miaka mikumi tufanyie tukubali watu ambao wamemkosea rais wapate leader heshima na jia ile tunaona so they have agreed to sign and uh, as a resolution they are going to be the one taking up the case that has been filed to stop the ndc the members themselves will be the one fighting for the happening of ndc on the 22nd of may this year kama unataka chama uh, na unataka uongozi kwa chama kuja kule uchaguliwe na na watu hapana tafuta dirisha ya kurukia usiku ama kuja kupiga ofisi na mawe we kuja kwa NDC sema mimi ninasikia kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta yeye ni mtoto kwangu sasa nitamtoa kwa usukani wa Kenya hii ama uongozi ya wa Kenya and uh, we see where you go na wewe pia kama unafikiri wewe ni kuna ujasiri ya kutosha tengeneza chama yako ifike pale jubiri imefika bana kuja kuiba yenyewe 
<laughs> Hello. Yes, na kwa hayo machache nataka nimpe eh, our vice chair nafasi aseme yale ambayo uh, ako nayo kwa sababu ye pia ako na ujasiri kwa hii maneno wale ambao wanafikiria eh, ya kwamba jubili watu wa, wameenda hakuna wale pari watu wameenda you you want to hold a meeting this is the head office for the party the registered head office for the party sio chini ya miti pahali sisi uona picha na hata nyinyi ni watu wa maajabu by the way where do you find them <laughs> you always go to them under the trees but you don't tell us so that we can also come ni ni watu wa maajabu because tunaona tu watu chini ya kamuti pahali wanatoa media ukitafuta wametoroka yes but let me see the last thing the lie that jubilee party can be a stand alone political party in parliament needs to be debunked Our constitution talks of minority and majority. So you either belong to the majority or the minority. If those in parliament decide to move out from Azimio, then they are going to the majority. And they need to tell themselves and Kenyans who will give them the committee positions that they are looking for. Wanasema Didi Nyoro aache kuwa chairman wa budget wapatiwe. Yes? Ichongo aache kuwa majority leader wa wapatiwe kwa sababu wameenda huko sana na maana. They must stop lying to Kenyans. You move out from Azimio, you leave all the seats that were given to you, committee seats through Azimio and then you go seeking from your new partners. But also let, let me tell you this. You cannot remove Jubilee through a sitting at a tree. We went you cannot remove Jubilee from Azimio from a, a, a committee watu mm. na unajua hata sahi wewe mwenyewe huyo wako na barakoa na covid ile kwisha huyo <laughs> unaweza enda pale na uijiite secretary general unaoita watu kumi pale mm. but for as long as you are not in the Kenya gazette whatever you resolve cannot hold yeah. and that's what a miss says about the OLPP mm. how he keeps uh, the entertaining uh, dysfunctioning of uh, parties finally if the deputy secretary general can call a neck then gachagua can call a cabinet secretary <laughs> that's how absurd it is you are actually saying gachagua can call a cabinet meeting at now karen wasugumzie mambo ya cabinet na vile watatoa ruto kwa sababu yeye ndio deputy the deputy president you are a deputy and you only do what has been assigned by you by whoever is holding the seat mpaka siku yenye utapatiwa hiyo kiti vice chair Asante 